What's going on guys? How's it going? I just put together this crank generator. So let's get right into it. It's built from new and old parts. Of course, you can see that this is an old computer. So how does it work right now? If you crank it, it's just freewheeling. Not much going on. If you hit the power button, I reuse the computer's power button. Click that on and now the generator is actually working. There's a resistance on the crank. And if we wanna check our voltage, flick on the switch here. There's our voltage. And there's also a digital readout uh, here as well. So we're at about 4.6, almost five volts. Once we crank this thing up, we can now plug in whatever we want to charge. And flashlight here, we can plug that in here. And it's charging. Basically, this generator here is sort of like a crankable power bank. Because what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm storing up some energy. So when I flick the switch here, it starts charging the internal battery. So right now, it's charging the battery. We're not even cranking it, and it's charging the battery. We'll talk about how this works. So let's take it apart, and I'll show you what's inside. A couple screws on the back here. So if you're familiar with electrical components, then you'll see what I've done here. If not, then I'm gonna go and explain everything. So you could build this in many different ways. This is how I put it together. So we have here a 24 volt, 350 watt motor. This motor here is found in scooters. You can find these on Amazon and other online sites. This is our crank mechanism. So as you can see, this is just from a tricycle. It was a curb fine tricycle, so that was completely free. Just taken the part of the tricycle and I've actually just wired it right to the chassis of the computer. Then we have our chain here. Now this is a 25H chain that fits the sprocket on this motor. So I've just put the sprocket on top of the bicycle sprocket. So this motor came with the 25H sprocket. So I just grabbed a chain and sprocket, just put it on top of the bicycle sprocket and zip tied it on. So no welding. So as I turn the crank, it spins the motor. So you might be asking, how can you make a DC motor turn into a generator? Because the battery would then just power the motor up. Well, the, the secret here is right here. It's not a secret, I'm just kidding, but there's a diode. So the diode here is gonna block the current from going back to the motor. It only allows the current to flow in one direction. So here's the low down with crank generators. You'd really wanna have a low RPM generator. This motor here to get you a usable output voltage, you're gonna have to spin it pretty fast. So what I've done here because of that, the secret to this whole system working is right here. Supercapacitors. They're 500 farads at 2.7 volts. So I have them in a series circuit. So I can put about five volts into them. So the nice thing about the motor here is that it puts out enough current to charge up these supercapacitors. A supercapacitor doesn't charge like a battery. It needs quite a bit of current to actually start charging. And as it starts charging, then the current drops. So the current flows from the motor, goes through the diode, goes into the capacitors, it charges up the capacitors. So then the current from the capacitors goes through the switch here, and that turns on our boost module here, then boosts our voltage from the capacitors uh, if you don't have it at five volts. So if the capacitors are only about three and a half volts in them, it'll still work. So the boost converter will boost the voltage up to five volts, and then the five volts goes into the charge module. And then the charge module then charges up these 18650 lithium batteries. You can use whatever you want. When we crank the crank, we're starting to charge the capacitors. The capacitors are now charging up. So then we can use the charged up energy in the 18650 batteries and we can power up this power bank module here. So this here is a power bank module and that's connected to the battery pack. Power bank module then gives you your five volts USB out so you can charge whatever you want. And I have another USB plug in here for other options. I haven't hooked those wires up. So with the wiring here, so everything is just two wires. We have a negative and positive on the boost module, negative and positive on the charge module. 
negative and positive to connect on the batteries and everything else. It's very simple. Everything in between is just switches. There's a ton of ways you could build this and you could use different components. You don't have to use this if you want to get higher current out of it. Put more supercapacitors in here. You could add more boost modules. You could put a larger boost module. You could put a larger power bank module with a higher amperage output. So you're not going to get many watts out of this because you're limited to your cranking. Your arms might get tired pretty quickly but it would charge up a phone in emergency and it could charge up a flashlight it could charge things this here is very limited to the amount of energy you can get out of it but this pedal generator here i build you can check it out in my other videos you'll get a lot more wattage out of this one and then also i have another one over here this one has an alternator but in emergency this would work very well <laughs>